Hello friends, in our previous lecture we have taken a look how we can create request using get method. Now it's time to take a look at how we can create request using post method. So first of all, let's copy these two lines. Press Ctrl C to copy and let's paste it. And before that, let's write here a comment that is normal post method and as you can guess that it will be not guessed it will be sorry not get it will not be get it will be post only then the URL and then asynchronous true that's fine then XHR dot send that is also fine but here we need to add another line and that is xhr dot set request header yes we are sending some header information not only this method but we need to send some header informations and generally we will use this method only I will provide you a list of methods that you can write here. So set request header. Here we will be having two arguments. The first one or you can say two parameters. The first one is content hyphen type. And what will be the value of it? X hyphen www hyphen form hyphen url encoded so this is using normal post method now let me copy these three lines again press ctrl c to copy and let's come here and paste it now here we will see another advanced but this time for post not kind of advanced here you can send parameters here in get method as we have seen that we can send data using this query string i mean using this url only right but for post when you, we are using post method we need to uh, take another approach and that is here we will save our parameters and then we can send it here by using that parameter so let's say parameter equals uh, let's uh, let me write here something say where param equals say name equals john and well i didn't provide application so let's write here application slash here also application slash okay so here is the parameter so name equals john and say or say like say first name equals john f name equals john and l name equals say do just like this so here you are defining the parameter and here you are sending those parameters so that's it uh, this is how post method works and another thing that i forgot that is this one application slash x www form url encoded yes friend this is really very essential so uh, there are some other header informations which you can send but this is the main thing so that's it i think you got the difference between the get method i mean using the get method and using the post method while using get method it is the simple one and it is also the faster one using post method you need to provide the header informations and uh, while submitting data i mean while retrieving the information based on the data using get method you can do it using the url only but for post method you need to store those inside a variable and you can send those parameter values using dot send method 
so that's it i hope that you got the concept if you have an issue understanding something please feel free to let me know now in our next lecture we will take a look at a very cool function which is on ready state change function yes friend and there we will learn some uh, more stuffs so see you in the next lecture till then have fun take care